we're here at Third Man Vinyl Pressing. I got to go and tour the facility, and they're back there making a The Go record. Yeah. Have you ever heard of this band? Heard of it, yeah. Um, formed it. Oh, that's you. Yeah. Okay, um, that's, that's pretty cool then. About 23 years ago. 23 years ago, when you formed this band and you made your first album, how did you release it? Was it on vinyl? Uh, it was on vinyl and CD uh, through our label at the time, Sub Pop. But it did take some convincing to get them to release vinyl because at that time, late 90s, the, the demand for vinyl was not great. They did press a small amount. So why does vinyl still matter to a generation in the digital era? I think it matters for, uh, for an experience. If you want to listen to music casually, maybe it's not that important. But if you love music and you love the intent of the artist, I think you'd want vinyl because that would be the most uh, representative of the original thought, the birth of the idea. You can't hang an MP3 on your wall, but you can a record. Why do you say that? Why is it the most authentic representation of the original idea? I think it's because you can see the needle bouncing up and down on the record. Whereas you put a tape in a boom box, you just see some wheels spinning. You really don't know what's going on there. But with a vinyl record, you put that needle on and you have to be careful because you can't just willy-nilly throw it on there because it's, it's going yeah. and just make everybody go Ooh. No, I think there's something to that. In the digital era, a vinyl record offers an experience unparalleled to any of the other formats that exist currently. Are you surprised at the resurgence of vinyl? I mean, in today's age, we're living in the digital era we're ingesting it via streams and clouds and whatever else. So what is it about this resurgence or comeback of vinyl that, that people want? Right now, more than ever, I think people are just constantly distracted. Um, so we all have our record collections on our phones. I find ELO's whole discography, it's right there. Right. I don't have to look for it anymore. The journey to look for it is sort of part of it, yeah. you know, to complain to your friends about, I still haven't found that record. I mean, have you guys found it? You know, it's that, that whole uh, exchange is kind of part of it. So with having everything available to you digitally, it sort of robs you of some experience. Right. Where a vinyl record forces you to commit to an experience. Sure. For probably like anywhere between 35 and 45 minutes. It's not so much instant gratification. Yeah. And it probably forces you a little bit to actually listen and experience the music in, in the way it was potentially more intended for you to do. So in other words, on my phone, I'm much more tempted to skip to the next track. Yes. I mean, I've noticed that when listening with friends or, or kids or whatever, just like, I mean, they can't get through a song. Yeah. That's three minutes and 30 seconds, they can't make it. I mean, you're 45 snoozer, seconds in, it's boom, snoozer, boom, boom. Snoozer, And so, you know, <laughs> putting a vinyl on a player, yeah. dropping a needle and walking away, there's a little bit of intention there saying, I'm gonna to commit to this. I'm gonna to commit to it. I'm gonna to listen to every song, no matter how unexciting it might be. Yeah. Because I might hear something exciting right. and it'll be worth it. I think the ambient experience of a needle riding in the grooves of vinyl is a certain kind of warmth and atmosphere that you can't get on a CD. I would say CD, as well as anything digital, they have their pluses and minuses, just like records do. Sure. What will exist in the future? Who knows, maybe something better than vinyl, but right now I think vinyl is trumping everything else. Yeah. Yeah. So have you seen this yet? Have you got the touch? Today hold? is the first day. Okay. Um, I haven't got a chance to well, hold it. Well, this is what it looks like. Can I hold it? Yeah, please do. You actually, you got another one here. Boy, the edges are really sharp on these. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. Yeah, don't whip these like Frisbees. What do you think the chances are of me walking home with one of those? I don't think anybody's looking. <laughs> you could probably just go out the back door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I might consider that.